Righto, so Zane has developed a bit of a habit for um, ordering stuff online. Um, Team is his new favourite thing, so he's ordered himself a whole new outfit. I gave him a budget layout last week. I said to him, Zane, you can order something and I'll give you a $50 budget. See if you can get yourself a whole outfit for 50 bucks. So he's ordered it and it's come, so we're gonna pull it out and have a look and see what we scored. What do you wanna start with? Um, I don't know, pull the rod out, let's have a look at the rod. I'm keen to see what it looks like. So yeah, I'm not sure what he ordered. He kind of told me, but he didn't actually show me what it was. Yeah, I've seen and, um, So he's been, you've been fishing down the marina a little bit with his friends, spending a bit of time on the rocks, fishing off the rocks. So he's bought himself a new outfit to fish off the rocks. Um, we didn't particularly go, hey, oh, it's bright. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pink or purple? It's like purpley, but like bright purple. I don't know if you can see that. She's pretty bright. What's the brand called? Sorgay Lang. Sugaliang, yeah, I don't know. I can't even pronounce it. It's light. Yeah, it's really light. I like the handle. The handle's pretty cool, like camo, sort of camo style handle. Looks like pretty cheap sort of plastic, but it's only a lightweight. The rod's actually quite light. Yeah. It feels okay, doesn't it? For fishing off the rocks and stuff, it's all right. fine, yeah. So I think wherever these come from, I'm not sure, is it Taiwan or? I think it's Taiwan, yeah. Taiwan or China, I think they designed to like fish in the river. I don't think they really catch yeah, anything super big on them. I think, I think it said it was meant for like bass, for bass fishing. For bass fishing? Yeah, yeah. I don't know about that so much. What's it rated to? So it's rated for a six to 15 pound line. So you got a reel to go with it. Yeah. What's the reel look like? Oh, so the reel's almost... It's similar, different brand. The reel's though. very similar to the last one that we got, which was called Handu River, Handu River, wasn't it yeah. the last one? This reel looks very similar. I, mean, I see you got matching colours as well. Yeah, I had to. Yeah. <laughs> Screw in. Screw on handle. So show us what the reel looks like. <laughs> cool. All right, so there's the reel. Um, nice and matching, I guess. If you're gonna have an outfit, you might as well match and look good together. It actually looks good, it feels, it feels pretty strong. They strange. do feel a little bit heavy, these wheels, I've noticed, but yeah. they feel solid. Like They don't feel like they're going to break cheap plastic. Like For what you pay for them, they really don't feel like cheap plastic. Um, and I don't think you spent the whole 50 bucks either, did you? No, I spent it 37 or something? 30, 37, yeah. $37 all up for the rod, the reel, and some line, which we'll show you in a minute. So for the price of them, if you just wanted to outfit one of your kids to go fishing off a jetty or just off the rocks, I don't think you'd go too far wrong. Feel smooth, feel strong. Um, the drag on feels okay. And I think we've already proved with some of the other ones that the drag is actually a lot better than what I was expecting it to be. Um, the small one that we bought the, it was the same size as this. Same hook, Samson fish yep. and everything on it. And it was peeling line and the drag actually stood up to it quite well. So um, yeah, I don't know, pretty cool. Chuck it on. Chuck it on, it looks pretty cool. And show us what line you got there. I had to get matching. <laughs> so you got matching purple, is it braid or is it nylon? Uh, it's 15 pound braid. Oh, it is braid. 15 pound braid, 300 meters. Yeah, oh, there you go. So matching braid as well. I don't know how good that's gonna be. Time will tell whether it wind knots or gets ugly, but for the price of it, yep. um, who really cares? 300 meters will probably fill this three times as well. So yeah. <laughs> even if it does get a bit fluffy, it won't matter. You can just pull it off and re-spool it again. So the goal is here, we're gonna, we're gonna spool it up. And um, as Zane's on school holidays, he's gonna go down the marina, probably down the local marina or one of the local marinas along the coast I'll take him down. And um, we're gonna see what we can catch on this rod. Um, as ideally that's what he bought it for, was just fishing off the rocks or fishing off the jetties. Need that. So, um, yeah, we'll take it out, give it a bit of a run and see how it goes. So far, the other team of reels that he's bought so far have actually stood the test and they've yeah. actually been really good. Um, I'm more than impressed for the price that you pay for them. That other one that you hooked yeah. something on that last week was, but he fought for nearly 45 minutes, he had it on, screaming around and the drag stood up to it fine. So, yeah, um, yeah I think for the money you pay for it so far, I'm impressed with what we've got. Um, like I've said all along, I think anything that's going to let them down is going to yeah. be corrosion resistance, how well they stand up to the salt water. You know what they remind but, me of? The, um, is it the Shimano Siennas? Yeah, it does look very similar, similar to the Sienna. Yeah, you could be right. It's yeah, like very similar. It's just like a remake of the Sienna. Yeah. 
So anyway, we'll spool this boy up and the next time you see us, we'll, be, um, we'll take it fishing and give it a crack and see how it goes. Uh, what I might do is if you're going to fish with that, I'll fish with the other one. The other one, The Hambu yeah. River, yeah. And we'll do a little bit of a challenge and see what we can see what we can catch. Biggest fish out of the marina or something, some sort of a challenge. Yeah. Biggest fish counts. <laughs> What's the prize? We have a prize. Another Timu reel. <laughs> Another Timu reel. I'm not buying any more Timu reels. I bought three in the last bloody couple of months and that's enough now. <laughs> anyway, we'll spool this boy up. It's alright. Nah, it's fine. Alright, we've spooled it all up with this purple line. This was £10. Zane's telling me you ordered 15 and they sent us £10. He also just told me he ordered a 3,000 size and they've sent me a 2,000, <laughs> so I don't know. You can't expect miracles, but hey, for 37 bucks. But this line, 10 pound, is super, super thin. We've just got nearly 250 metres of line onto this reel, so that is plenty. Um, I feel like a marina is a little bit underdone for this. I reckon we need to test it on something else, like some snapper or Samson yeah. fish or something. I think it's now you've got a lot of line on there. You yeah. can afford to have a really big run. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we take a snapper fishing and give it a shot and see how she goes. But yeah. first of all, we'll take it down the marina, we'll have a bit of a play and give it a bit of a run. And um, yeah, we'll keep you guys posted on how, how it performs and how long they last. We're going to give them a good run. One of them is basically living on my boat now. The biggest size of the 5,000 we bought is um, basically living on the boat. We're using it heaps and we're going to just see how long it lasts with the crows and so forth. So far, we're pretty impressed with it. It's been good for the $35 that one was. Um, this one was... That was 37 for the whole. Oh, how much for the reel? Um, I think the reel was... $17. $17 for the reel. And then so the rod and the um the rod and the line was yeah. Yeah. Made 37 that. all up, yeah. Cheap. Is it nasty? Who knows? So far, I'm nothing but impressed with the stuff that we've got so far. Yeah. It's stood up well and we've um given it a pretty solid hide and say so we'll see you on the water and we'll give this a decent test. Look how beautiful it is in here. Just don't just, look behind you. I've just driven us right into the zone here. All this water, all this reef is out of the water here behind us, so I know the waves aren't going to come across the top of it. So I know I'm safe to sit in here. Yeah, it's a bit wishy washy, but I know the, the waves are going to break. I just what? landed on a fish and it jumped up. Really? Yeah, that'll be the herring. So I know we're pretty safe in here. The waves aren't going to come across the top. I've sat in here before. Um, I've caught kingfish in here before too. It's not my first time. Uh, I've got the motor running for now, but I'll turn that off in a second. I'm pretty happy where we are. I think I've got the anchor down. I feel like I'm pretty safe here. Oh, what was that? All right, so we rigged it up. Myself and Zane to come out to give this Timu reel a bit of a challenge and see how it goes. Zane's actually got the old Timu reel. Show him that Timu reel, Zane. Zane's actually got the old Timu reel that we've already given a bit of a hiding, and we're really happy with it. it actually, it's been working really well. So Zane, are you going to fish with your pink one now? I've got it rigged up for you. Yeah. Oh, you're in. Oh, look at that. That just got slammed first cast. Wow. Oh, look at you go. <laughs> Skippy on. That didn't take long. Where's my sunglasses? Oh, you're getting pantsed. So the goal today is we've come out just to try to catch some bait. Um, it's oh, that's nice. It's close season for big fish here in Perth at the moment. But it opens up again early next week, so the goal is to come out here, catch a few baits, and that's perfect for bait for us to use later on. We can um, just put like a, um, a beautiful fillet or a cube of that. Um, Trevelli is perfect bait. So whack that one in the esky zone. There you go, first fish. It was like hardly even in the water. And the pink moo has come up with the goods. So we've nicknamed it the moo. Zane's pink reel and rod. I mean, it's a good looking outfit. Just make sure he's 25, because he's got to be 25. And he looks like he might be pushing that. Is he 25? Oh yeah, he's easy 25. Yeah, sweet. They're all, they're all kind of a bit bigger than him. So we've just come inside here. We're, oh, straight away, look at that. We're inside like a breaking reef here. Originally, we had planned on going out the back to try for kingfish and that, but with this swell, it's a bit sketchy. So we've tucked on inside. And look how beautiful it is in here. It's nice and clean and um, clear. This is just good fun fishing. Oh yeah, I'm in. It works. So, oh yes. 
if you're just looking for an easy cheap reel i don't see any problem with this one i've had this one now for probably six months and we've used it pretty hard and it still goes right it's still smooth the drag's pretty smooth on it um, i've had no real issues with it the only issue i can find with it is sometimes if you get a bit of slack line it goes in behind the spool and wraps around about the shaft a little bit but as long as you're aware of that and you be careful with that it's actually not so bad we've tested them against the btf reel. here's another another skippy if someone said to me a timu reel is any good i'd say yeah how long are they going to last i don't know um the salt might give them a bit of a hammering after a while but I'd say if you look after them and rinse them out at the end of the day, you probably get a year or so out of them. For that sort of price, who cares if you get a year out of it? Oh, you're on it. Oh, that one's really pulling line. Yeah. Oh. Did you drop him? Oh, that one got you. It's because I got team new lines. You got to tie another leader on. Okay, yeah, so that might be one of the problems. Zane got Timu braid on there, which. I don't know, was that the braid that snapped there or did it get you under the boat or something? Yeah, it's the braid. I've got Daiwa braid on here, so this is lasting okay. But we'll see how good this Timu braid is. That could be a bit of a weak point. But the actual reels and the rods themselves, to be fair, that line was pretty cheap. You can't expect $3. miracles. Yeah, you can't expect miracles for three bucks. $3. Three bucks for 300 meters. Yeah, well. So all I'm fishing is just like a little chunk of little chunk of um, muley there or pilchard, whatever you want to call it. I'm just lobbing it down the back here. I've got a bit of bread in the water as barely. All right, I'm in here. What's this? All right, it's a wrasse. These guys are okay for bait, but they're not as good as the um, not as good as the silver trevally. And since I can see a lot of them behind me, I'm not going to stress too much about it. I'm going to just throw this guy back. If I can get the hook out of him, he's a slippery little slucker. Slippery little sucker. Yep. Oh, see the drag? Oh, the drag's actually all right on these, eh? It's like smooth. It doesn't, it's not super chunky or anything. It feels smooth enough. Yeah, 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 one second. There you go, another perfect size bait fish. Yep, Later. up, up high, up high. Lift. Oh yeah, you're on now. Look at me. Yeah, that's another skippy. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, well, that's probably enough baits for us. What have you got? That was only just hit the water, eh? Yeah, another ras. Swap sides. Maybe. Come up and over. Is it a ras? The ras are thick. The herring, not so. Those brass are actually okay as bait, but they're not. Oh no, this is a herring. Is that a herring? Oh yes, quick, get him in. That's what we were looking for. Nice. All right, we're on. There you go, the moo. It's caught a few fish. And the old one that I've got here has also caught a few fish. Um, all we wanted was a handful of baits today, so that's probably it, we'll end the video here. But hey, for a $35 setup, are you pretty happy with it? I reckon it goes all right. And this one here, like I said, we've really tested this and caught some quite decent fish on it and it's been fine. This was a $16 reel. So if you're looking to buy a Timu, I'd say go for it. If you're just gonna buy it for your kids or whatever, I reckon some kids would be really happy with a setup like that. For 35 bucks, you can't go wrong. It looks good, does the job, can't complain. We're gonna have a quick swim and then we're gonna head in. If you like our stuff, stay tuned and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. You. Oh, this is going to be spicy. <laughs>